I've known Hugh McGraw for seven or eight years now. I worked at a station in Alabama, and one day I found this old record that had been recorded in the 40s of shape notes from Ziegler. And I played one and remarked in the playing of how weird it was. And within a few minutes, people were calling me saying, hey, don't you realize that still goes on around here? And I said, no, I didn't. And about an hour later, Hugh McGraw called me, who lives 120 miles, lived 120 miles away, and said, I heard you've been playing sacred heart music on the radio. Hugh is a tireless um, advocate and proponent of this. He's appeared all over the world and in several foreign countries promoting sacred heart music. He knows more about it than anybody else. So I'm going to turn it over to Hugh McGraw. <laughs> to you what a fa sol la me is. Music was first invented many years ago in Italy before Christ by an Italian, and they, the, the names of them was Ut Re Mi Fa Sol La Si. Well, uh, they just started calling the, the, the tones that. They didn't put them down, they just started calling them. And then the, the English got a hold of it, and the English didn't like it, the English don't like nothing, you know. They, they wanted to change it, and they take them out to Ut Re C and left the Fa Sol La Mi. And so the Fa Sol La Mi stayed with us. It come over here with the, the pilgrims and the first song book that was written in the United States in 1698 was a bass song book. It had 13 tunes and it had been written in round notes on tenor and bass. And under each little round note was an L for Fa, S for So, L for La, M for Me. But the shapes wasn't invented for these notes until 1798 by Smith and Little. They invented a system and wrote a book, Easy Instruction, and it said the Fa will be a triangular, So will be round, La will be square, Me will be diamond shaped. And our scale would be Fa, So, La, Fa, So, La, Me, Fa. The fa's are double. Two fa's, two so's, two la's, one me. And since that time, uh, 43 songbooks have been published all over the United States with four shapes. Uh, mostly southern books, but some, there was an Ohio Sacred Heart, and it had, it had the four shapes. But the, it's been carried on mostly by the southerners, uh, in uh, Georgia and Alabama and Florida and Mississippi in those days. But just recently, they've been a, uh, uh, a boom of, with the young people in, in New England, uh, Midwest, Far West, uh, wanting to learn how to sing uh, this type of music. And after they get started singing it, they found out that it's so much fun that they have continued singing. Uh, we're going to turn to page 49 in our book. 49 on top. Old hundred. This, this part, this section in here sings the third stack. This section sings the top stack. This section sings the second from the top. And, and you sing what's left. <laughs> Everybody sing through first on the middle stack, uh, on the soprano stack. Tenor, which would be a third step. Oh. 
bass can reach the lowest note, the triple can reach the highest note, we don't care what key it's in. As long as it's a good balance and everybody can reach their tone. Uh, <clears throat> many tunes, for instance, Amazing Grace in, was originally written in the key of C. And in the Baptist book now, it's in the key of G. So <clears throat> as long as, <clears throat> as you can sing, that's the main thing. Now we'll sing the word. Oh. Oh. 